Okay, so remember when I said this was the Shoal Cave? I lied, this was actually Justin Bieber's swimming pool. He built this so that Mr. Lindy Gomez can swim in here at any time and collect all these seashells and sea salts. This is not great, cause, um, I didn't know that, so now Justin Bieber can uh, troll me now. That's great, you know, I, I like to get trolled a whole lot. Especially with the super repel, so that I could repel all his little fishies in the water in there. I'm kidding. This isn't actually leg a legit uh, conversation we're having right now. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, you. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. It's the nerd, and in the last episode, we got here to the Shoal Cave. No, it's just the Beaver Swimming Pool. No, I'm not gonna make that joke anymore. I referenced that in episode three. I don't think I want to reference that here again in uh, Emerald. Maybe another in, in another Let's Play, but not today. Not today. I don't feel like it. <laughs> so we're just here collecting around shoal, shoal shells, which you can only get with the high tide, which appears, I believe, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Either that or 3 p.m. to 9 a.m. I might actually show you guys the actual times in here. Not sure, but coming during the high tide, we could get the big pearl. Now, I'm not going to be coming here during the low tide. I might do that off screen. So, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it because, number one, again, I'm not going to be doing it. I'm really lazy and I was a complete jerk when signing up and not showing you guys all of the show cave. And number two, there's Sugar Connor video. So, if you really want a nice, quick look at the uh, actual show cave, there's a. Sugar Connor right there. But I should tell you there's a really rare Pokemon only found um, in this cave. If it's in the low tide section, you'll be able to get to an ice path, and that would give you uh, TM Hail, which is kind of pointless for my team. And um, I guess an HM for like Surf or something like that. No, not an HM, but I mean, uh, the Pokemon would be Snorunt. So that's kind of a pointless. Um, one of the reasons I don't do 100% of this. Also, what you guys missed in the last episode, sorry about that. This is something. If you bring me four feet to the show show and show shows, I shall make you a show bell. I can, you could get those ingredients every day. So I imagine if you get two of the same ingredients, he could, he could give you like two shell bells or something like that. Well, not really expected on my list. So we're pretty much done in that area, so that was uh, the most pointless two minutes of your life. And, okay, I'm getting a little lagging here. I probably should have done this frame skip rate for at least a couple seconds. I don't know. Me and my complete laziness. But anyways, we are now here in Moss Deep City. You know, this is man right here. I can't do this anymore. It's already hopeless. I'm a fighting type trainer, so I can win a musty gym, no matter how hard I try. I can punch, 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 punch. Wait, you look at me that way. I'm only hitting the ground. Or do you want me to cheat your Pokemon Dynamic Punch? So a Dynamic Punch is a really nice move. If it hits, which is, has a 50% accuracy, it will always confuse the opponent. If not, then uh, it has 5 PP, so you don't have that much. Now, um, I'm gonna just do this to read the effects off to you. The power is 100, and again, the 50 accuracy is... Well, it's got low PP, so if it had, like, PP of 30... It, why did I click no? No, I did not move that. So, it has 5 PP and 50 accuracy, so it's kind of a rare chance for you to actually hit. So, if you do teach a dynamic punch, I would really recommend you, um... Use super propels or something. I mean, use a uh, PP ups, max PP or something like that. So, um, not really a re really recommended one. But if you want a power powerful fighting type move for your Blaziken or any fighting types, go ahead. By find it by me. You're not ruining my day. Who are you? Two leaders in the town are a formidable duo. Their combination of attacks are like excellent and wow. If only we had the uh, versus check, uh, the uh, fame checker, like you know, in Fire Red. I never actually showed that off. I might have to make bonus episodes, but I do show off most of the things um, in there. Well, those probably might be a little bonus episodes, and I might forget it and then have to do it in like late November or something like that. And I believe one of these houses you are a la Oh, this guy right here. King the Olympolite doesn't like to be your dislike, like, or dislike blocks. So, if you didn't have a guide, 
for whether their likes or dislikes, or if you're too lazy to go on Bulbapedia, this guy can tell you what nature it prefers to. Now, this is Steven's house. It doesn't really have a say, it doesn't have a house number or anything like that. It's just a plain house, so nothing really new there. Oh, but the sissy likes to go find people's secret place spaces. What is, was it you that made a secret place? You've been in there! You are a stalker! I'm out of this house! No! I don't like stalkers! Get away from me! Ah! Uh, 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 uh. That's- I seriously sound like Stitch. Humping something. And exhausted at the same time. What is this? I guess the probably the rules would be like, which game should I just- Poke- Oh! I get it! This is something exclusive to Emerald Fire and Leap Green! There are two games you can play, Pokemon Jump and Go Duo Berry Picking. Uh, I don't know why Shook a Comrade never mentioned this. Now this one you need wireless communications? So unfortunately we cannot play any Pokemon games and you, I think, if I remember correctly, I remember playing this, you need a Pokemon as a little small high. For example, Pikachu and Oddishes can play very well in this game. Uh, most others cannot. Now, if I remember correctly, there is some item here. Yes, there is, and it is a netball. Now, I believe netballs have a higher catch rate if the Pokemon you're catching is a bug or water type, so we might need to save that for a legendary Pokemon. Not gonna spoil you which one it is. You again! You! You! Yo! Get out of my face! I heard my Steve's gym leader is pretty strong, so I decided to come and take a look-see look -see for myself. But there's something wrong about this town. People are going on about Warning Letter and Space Center. Yeah, too bad NASA isn't around. I don't think it concerns me anyway, though. And you walk away after that awkward conversation. Yeah, what a weirdo. I mean, who walks away from a slightly weird conversation? Elicit exchange says, man, with a prefer boyfriend for tree. I don't end here one bit at all. <laughs> so she's like, what, six years old and she has a boyfriend? Oh, yeah. Our, and they say our generation is screwed. <laughs> yeah, they really think our generation is screwed. But guess what? We have TV shows like Mr. Rogers. What do they have? SpongeBob and Squidbillies. I don't know why they watch that, but okay. Apparently they do. What are you? Voyage ship's fine. Crossing the sea with using Pokemon using Surf. A lessening, <clears throat> accelerating trip. Wouldn't you agree, youngster? How do you know? I only, I only serve on a lumbre and stuff like that. I, how do you serve on a lumbre? Would anyway? you stand on his lily pad and just swims and stuff like that? And if you talk to this alley, he'll give you the super raw. So with this one, we can catch torpedoes outside of the city, which I believe, I don't know the rarity of this, but um, hopefully I will attempt to show the super rod at some time soon. Now this is a white rock. This is like an obvious museum tour right here. Now if I remember correctly, oh wait, there is no item rocks. That's right. Unless I'm no, I'm not mistaken. That's fine. Let's see. <clears throat> I was taking a stroll down the beach when I found this. It's not anything neat, so you can have it. And we have the sunstone here. Now there are two Pokemon that give all this. One of them will be getting later, and another one. Which is we can get right now. Gloom can evolve to Bellossom this way. But kind of in my opinion, Bellossoms are a lot less a lot um, more pointless than Bioplumes, just because it doesn't have the best defense. And Stephen Stone, what are you doing here? Like, have you read that the proclamation already? Team Magnus coming after Team Rocket Fuel on this island. I didn't know why they need it for, but they can't be allowed to take it. I'll keep an eye on things for a while longer. In the meantime, why don't you go check out the town? I've already checked out the town! In like nine minutes! At five seconds! Yes, I can check count time, and you guys will be like, what is not my name in five seconds? You clue the intro! It's like nine minutes and six seconds! Maybe even sixteen! So, what we need to do is we need to head over to this gym. Now, you notice this is a little bit different from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Oh god, a forest double battle. <sighs> why me? Just why me? Seriously. Leave me alone, you cruel pieces of crabs. I don't know. Yeah, normally in Ruby and Sapphire, there would be a little slide puzzle. But for this one, we're lucky enough to not have it. 
Okay, so if I remember correctly, we do need that. Uh, which side do I go to? Hopefully it's the right. Oh! That's not good. Another forced double battle. Well, at least you get the double battles over with in this part, so, um... Yeah, this is fun, is Oh, there was some girl that said no, like, no! I could have just put it out there. And then it would have been made me a happy camper, but you know what? Oh, well, it's not like the world matters to this. Just another forced double battle. I could have made a single, but you know what? What the heck ever, I don't care. What? Cut! Pressing F5 instead of F6 working on your solutions? Absolutely not! Thanks, gang! Thanks, uh, space button pressing thing. You know how to make a... Crap. What do I do? Oh, wait. That's right, I gotta make sure the hole is empty right here. So, yeah, that is right. Okay, so... That, I believe, now what we want to do is, uh, go left, maybe? Oh, shoot. Um, good thing I did the actual other... Wait, what the... Uh, okay. That apparently wasn't what I was supposed to do, then. I don't know what I'm honestly was supposed to do! Help me out. Yeah, wait a minute. This is where we're supposed to go, apparently. I have no idea why, but... Um, I guess this is the right way we're going. Yeah! Beating Ralston's points are a piece of cake. The trainers, gym leaders, should be real easy! Well, if you can count them. Count them not getting your butt kicked by a... Uh, wait. What way do I need to go? I don't know. Wait, maybe this way. Maybe. No, that's not the right way. Am I supposed to go this way, or am I supposed to go the other way? To be or not to be? That is the question all of us have to answer. I think it's this way, and then hopefully I don't accidentally- Ah! At least it's not a double battle this time. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> you guys missed it. There was a meta that he was hump jump kicked. He missed! And he hit himself. <laughs> you guys are not laughing. Why are you not laughing? Why are you don't like my joke? Was I supposed to go this way? Oh, wait. I'm so. Oh, uh, am I seriously stuck? I hope I'm not. No, I'm not stuck. Yay! I, I was weird there for a moment. So now I think we have to do is go this way. Go this way, and then boom! We are here, the gym leaders. So, I think that's what we're gonna do next time. So, next episode on Pokemon Emerald, we'll be taking on these two. Who are they, you may ask? Find out. Peace out.